I'm gonna give you seven mobility tips to improve your movement and run around the map like a pro in Warzone Mobile. First off, of course, we have dolphin diving. And I want you to dive into the top of the description down below and download Warzone Mobile right now, as this video is sponsored by them. And anytime you download using my link helps me greatly. For real though, this technique is achieved by running and holding down your crouch button, commonly comboed with tack sprint, which I'll discuss later, in order to retreat from engagements that you think you will lose. However, you can use it aggressively, but between me and you, it leaves you with no momentum when you land, in turn making it harder to win future fights after the current person you're trying to eliminate. So I wouldn't bother. Next up, we have snaking, which was a term popularized by the mainline titles on PC and console, where you constantly go up and down behind a piece of cover in order to get information about the other players on the map. It's commonly paired with the rotation of your joystick moving around in a circular motion, as this makes you a harder target to hit and also can increase aim assist, especially if you're using controller. However, something we actually seriously need to talk about is parachuting, because if you're still using the auto parachute deploy, you are putting yourself at an extreme disadvantage when flying into the map, especially after things like Gulag or Rebirth Resurgence, as it auto pulls it so high in the sky that you're almost a surefire kill for anyone with a decent aim. Do not do that. Put it on manual and practice consistently trying to get as close to the ground before you pull that shit. You're gonna die a couple times, but trust me, it's worth it. What? Oh, that I'm him. Holy. Zip lines. These can be found across the map in both Rebirth and Verdansk to get up taller buildings. The only problem is, as you're leaping up vertically through the zip line, you're pretty much a sitting duck, a super easy target. You can, however, jump off mid zip. This could provide you some sort of way to escape, but in reality, they're probably still gonna shoot you out of the sky, especially if you pull your parachute straight away, which is another reason why it's so important to time just before you land and pull your shit. An interesting mechanic, how However, is when you jump off the zip line, you can actually hop back on it by hitting your jump button again and re go up it. I'm yet to see somebody pull this off in an actual game, but it's there nonetheless if you want to try it out. And by pull it off in a game, I mean get a kill while using it. Jump shooting. If you come from any COD title on any platform, you know exactly what this is. Simple, easy to understand. Jump while you shoot and aim down your sight. Commonly paired with some sort of fast momentum before you jump, it's absolutely crucial to make yourself a harder target to shoot. Riff is dead. You know about killing Riff. Holy, see ya. Speaking of things it gets paired up with, we're gonna talk about tack sprinting. This is a limited time overdrive, faster sprint mechanic that can give you extra mobility. It recharges, but because it takes a while, you should use conservatively, only in order to evade or attack engagements. In my opinion, it's best used when using the left-right zigzag pattern, like so, in order to make your enemies pretty much miss all their bullets so that you can then take them out easily. Because after they shoot that whole mag and miss, they're gonna be left flustered, you have a full mag of ammo, or hopefully some sort of mag of ammo and take them out while they're reloading or switching weapons. In my personal opinion, it's the best movement to engage with a jump shot around a corner as you pretty much fly out of nowhere onto the person's screen, take them out and dart back in. Then, if you see another player in that same area, also the best to re-peek with because again, it's super fast and very mobile. However, by the time you get to the third kill, you'll probably have run out of tax sprint and will just have to use the jump. Lastly, and arguably the most important alongside tax sprint, is slide cancelling. This is used primarily if you're caught off guard while sliding to cancel it and engage quicker. It's done by running, pressing your crouch button to slide, then pressing it again to stop the slide. And for some reason, people think that's all that it takes, especially a lot of the YouTubers that I've seen talk about it. But in fact, the best way to do it is after you click that crouch, you instantly touch the jump button. That'll bring you back up into your feet and keep momentum going forwards. Similar to the tag sprint jump combo, it's great for peeking corners. However, I would say that it's probably the best at peeking and not taking the fight, but just gaining info. However, it's definitely usable to do this around the corner, kill one, rotate back, then tag sprint, jump out, and kill the second as a repeat. Hey man, this doesn't need to be this way. Hey man, doesn't need to be this way. Damn! The 1v3! Make sure to click that link at the top of the description to help me out. And also, subscribe if mobile gamers are real gamers.